वेलकम बैक टू बिट फ्यूम्स एंड दिस इज लेवल मीडिया लाइब्रेरी पैकेज ट्यूटोरियल बाय स्पेसी एंड वी हैव वर्कड क्वाइट अ गुड थिंग्स एंड नाउ वी हैव दिस कार्ड इमेज व्हिच इज हैविंग दिस मच ऑफ डायमेंशन वी हैव दिस थंब इमेज और अवतार इमेज व्हिच हैविंग स्मॉलर डायमेंशन लाइक दिस वन एंड नाउ वी नीड टू चेंज द avatar just by clicking some button here just here inside this card text or whatever it is so firstly let's go to far icon and here we will just get the far icon cdn far cdn and here we have the icon gallery which is loading okay so far cdn which one let's grab from bootstrap cdn and font awesome so let's copy this tag open vs code on our app dot blade dot php just anywhere you can paste it okay so this is good and now we have opened profile dot blade dot php here we have the loop for avatars and this is the card body and inside this card body instead of this one i will firstly create a div having a class of float left and inside this i will have that icon so which icon i want to select i want to check icon so like this one so that i can select so click here and now we can select or simply copy this code from here paste it and let's just see the result refresh this page and it's not doing that why is this maybe our cdn is not working so make sure we get the correct cdn how to use and here let's just go to on website using new svg with js so let's copy this one instead of that get bootstrap cdn we will paste this one maybe that was for the old version because this is a new version svg version refresh this page and yes you can see it is here but i want to have this of far 2x so that it will be having large uh, image yeah like this not image icon okay so this is good and along with this what i want also the next one is for delete purpose so let's again go here go back it's svg font awesome so instead of check i will say delete not download delete and delete 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 let's use this minus one let's copy this and just here paste it and make sure this also has to be far 2x refresh and yes we have this and now on the right side what i want i want to have another which will be float right and let's just see how it's going to look yeah this is good but this time we want two one one for download and one for view the original image this is not the original image yeah this is not the original so to view maybe we can use i icon so instead of this let's use i is that good yeah that that's good so let's use i and simple so that has to be far 2x and then to download let's say download what are the icons we have to download hmm cloud download yeah let's try this one and let's copy this from here and instead of the circle and far 2x good refresh and yes these are the things we have created but you know these has to be an inside the anchor tag so what i will do i will first select these things then press command d command d and command d to have the multi cursor here we can say a and why is that and now at the last close that anchor tag and now in the starting I will say href of hash so that we have some kind of 
hand icon yeah but delete icon has to be red colored so class of text warning let's try okay let's try text danger mm -hmm. good let's try to give download as the warning one so warning similarly i has to be text info and select is text success and like this double c and yeah we have colorful icons here so what we need just when we click on this right icon the avatar changes to its new image for that let's just go and we have to create some kind of route first so go to web.php file and here we have this avatar resource controller or resource route so this means we have the route list of updates so let's search for route list and here we have avatar.update so this means when we click on this check icon we want to submit a form which just go to this update part on our avatar for that we have to create a form so let's create a form and the form is having a style of display none and inside this form we need a input tag which is like firstly hidden and its type is submit and um, it's going to give a request of firstly csrf and method of put because it's going to change and we have to give the route and the route is avatar dot update and what we need to update we need to update our avatar if i go to my avatar controller here directly and let's close route list here on the update part we are having the request and also the id so id is i'm going to pass the id of user for whoever is the login or logged in user id we have passed here so when this form submits so i think there has to be a close okay so when this form submits we will land on this page that's good now what we need we need to submit this form so to submit let's give this form an id of uh, select form and then we will have the avatar id so that it will be unique for every loop so avatar id is here and now here let's just give a separation on this anchor tag i will say on click on click event event dot prevent default this is the first one and then we have to say document dot get element by id and id name is select form and obviously our avatar id and then dot submit so what we are doing we are having event dot prevent default this means it's not going to use this href then we are getting this form via id get element by id and then after getting we are just submitting that form this means if i just try to return id here we should get the id of user so refresh submit okay so it's not having that kind of functionality as we want because on the form we have to give method as post so let's go again back refresh submit and yes we are getting id so just do one thing let's say we need to have auth user and 
avatar underscore id we have to give this avatar underscore id a new field so like here let's grab the id by request arrow selected avatar and this we have to pass obviously once it is done so then auth or do one thing let's try to use here let's cut this out make this as a user and at the top user is equal to this and then user arrow save and after this return redirect back yes it is done but we don't have that selected id field on our request because we have to pass that as this input box so name is select avatar and now value is our avatar arrow id so let's try to go back refresh our avatar is this first image let's try to make albert einstein as the avatar so refresh and yes you can see the avatar is now uh, albert einstein's image and if i refresh yeah that's working let's try to do that yeah we can now switch between the avatars so this is great functionality we have created in the next episode we will work on delete and download and then after the view part the final part of this series and if you have liked this episode please don't forget to share these video with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of best thing called Laravel. And if you have not subscribed, please go and subscribe to this channel because here Laravel learning never ends. And we will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.